Oh, yo, what it is, everybody. Thanks for tuning back in for another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Well, we're talking about my Shelby GT500. Here is my 2020 Shelby GT500. And this is a brand new car. So I guess I am taking delivery of it. But I've had it here for a little bit now. But I'm showing it to you. And you probably wonder, hey, well, why is it a 2020? And how is it brand new? It's 2022, right? Well, no. So I actually ended up getting it from my friend. I didn't buy it directly from Ford. And there's kind of a long story here behind it, but I will go ahead and uh, tell you about it and, you know, fill you in. But uh, yeah, it is a, a brand new car. Uh, long story short, my buddy got it. He liked it and uh, he was going to build it. He was a little too big for the car and he didn't like it. And he has kids and couldn't really take his kid and stuff around in it. So he ended up selling it with pretty much 50 miles and I bought it and it sat in his garage in California for like almost two years. Uh, the same person that actually bought my 28 foot trailer is the one that sold me this. So uh, I ended up liking it and it was built just in my spec. When I actually went to go look for one and try and get one, obviously Ford told me it's gonna take at least two years for me to get one. But as of right now, the car is 100% stock open it up you guys can see it is i got the recaro seats with the white on the inserts white letters sick digital dash leather on all the doors not plastic it is a pretty sick car the entire dash and everything is all carbon got the uh microfiber suede recaro whatever y'all want to call it you know on the wheel and uh it's pretty cool uh the the transmission control knob if we're all wondering why and which ones did i get and why did i get this well and, and the, meaning in that transmission it's the only color i mean excuse me, the only type of transmission it comes in the gt 500s only come in a dct there is no manual option it is only dct automatic let me go ahead and open the hood so you guys can see i'll prove it to you that she's all stock you got these awesome hood pins that also hold the hood down give me a second open this hood all right and of course here you can see it is 100 percent stock so um but it won't be for long so i've had the car now for a few weeks and i've driven it it is awesome it's amazing honestly how fast this car is bone stock so again as you guys see the car is still 100% bone stock, but it does really amaze me how fast this car really is. For a factory car, um, it, it it really hauls ass and moves out. I think Ford did a really good job on the calibration. Uh, from what all the videos that I've seen, I don't know. I have not tuned one, so I can't really sit here and tell you how good or not good the factory tune is. But it's there's a little bit of room for improvement, but I'm sure that it's... Uh, uh, you know, it's done right and done safe. Uh, it's pretty cool that the car is uh, from the factory on speed density. But man, I'm telling you, with this thing, the way it gets down, 760 horsepower and with the DCT, I mean, this thing really, really, really hauls ass. Hooks up good too with the, uh, with the tires that even come on it. The brakes are absolutely crazy, amazing. I love it. I really have almost not anything bad to say about this car i'd probably say its biggest gripe is that it's weight because it is all it does have some aluminum but it does still have a lot of steel on it but other than that i mean as you guys can see some of the mods you know i've done some corner markers blacked out lights you know tints and stuff like that but my, uh just all aesthetic stuff but all the performance mods it is uh it's all factory for for now at the moment but we will uh be having um our friends at Palm Beach Dino actually hooked this car up. I ordered a uh, nice pair of long tubes from my guys over at American Racing and some uh, center connection pipes. And they will be also putting out the blower and doing and doing all of all their Palm Beach touches like intercooler updates and stuff like that. So when said and done, this thing should make somewhere between 900 and 1,000 wheel. And that's crazy for still technically what I consider being a bolt-on car, meaning no cams or anything like that where... I got to say, you guys know I'm a GM guy. That's pretty amazing for a bolt-on, you know, package. And you're looking deep into the nines, you know, on factory street tires, on the Michelin Pilot 4Ss. 
it's absolutely crazy but i wanted to share this with you and uh let you guys know why i got it it was you know again it was going to be at least two years before i could even get one and this car really just fell into my lap i had no intention on buying a car he actually when he came to come over and purchase the trailer he just showed up in this and i was like oh heck yeah i want this and uh he's like yo i'm about to dump it he was uh, getting a bigger car for his family, and uh, it was my turn to uh, pretty much take this over and enjoy it. But uh, let me know your guys' comments and thoughts or anything like that. If there's any other things, you know, my Ford guys over, uh, you know, on the channel that follow from, you know, from the F450. Uh, we still have that Joker. That thing definitely ain't going nowhere. Still love that truck. Still, it's definitely my most favorite truck. And uh, we'll keep it rocking and rolling. So I'll throw some videos and clips and stuff in here of this car. And, uh, and of course, we'll take this Joker to the track. We got the big trailer and we're here ready to rock and roll. Thanks for tuning in, guys. And we'll see you here for another episode here on the Speedbug channel. Peace.